Ask him to see us right away. That seems unrealistic, don't you think? Mm-hmm, but not impossible. Perhaps I should see him alone, Nico. Explained to patient, consent obtained. Patient pro... Yep. There's a Mr. Rinaldi to speak to you. Who? Rinaldi? Nicolo Rinaldi? Okay, just uh, give me a second. Rinaldi, this is Dr. Hiller. A name from the distant past, Doctor. I wonder if you remember. Yes, of course I do. I'll come directly to the point, shall I? I'm calling in regard to Mrs. Rinaldi. To Sylvia. Yes, is she okay? The purpose of my call precisely, Doctor. A rather urgent purpose, I'm afraid. I wonder if we might have an appointment as soon as possible. Yes, well, of course I'll see her. Um, what's the possibility of... You getting here at, say, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning? It'd be doing us a great service if it might be sooner. Would this afternoon be at all possible? Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Rinaldi. Okay, Shellman. Sylvia. That's you. Miss Rinaldi. Doctor. Come in. Thanks. <coughs> Have a seat. Uh, I implored Nico to give you some advance notice, or sh should I say warning, but he, he wouldn't hear of it. Oh, well, under different circumstances, it'd be a nice surprise. So, Doctor, did you have the opportunity to consult the records? Yes, uh, not thoroughly, of course. But enough to know that you're perhaps confronted with a rather unreasonable challenge. As tumors go, Matthew. Let's say formidable. It's a friendlier adjective, yes. So, we begin with hope. Always the best beginning. Do you still play? The piano? Oh, no, not for years now. That's a pity. Why? Oh, you know, life gets complicated. There's only so many hours in a day. Mm, place so beautiful. Thank you. Follow my finger with your eyes, okay? Okay, close your eyes tight as you can. Tighter? Okay, good. Relax. Tell me if this feels different on either side. Mm -mm. Okay, keep it close. It's louder on one side or the other? Mm, the same. Good. Extend your arms out straight, palms up. Hold them out there. Yeah, I know. Okay, eyes closed. It's a little weakness on the left side, you know, so? Yeah. Can you imagine how many times I've been through this, Matthew? Yes, I can, actually. I can give you the answers to your questions before you ask them. Yeah. Well, squeeze. Come on. Harder. I remember the first time I heard you play. Do you? Yeah. Truly? Truly.
ladies and gentlemen. We'll be landing at JFK in 10 minutes. Yes, who? Hey, how you doing? Well, you're supposed to be nervous and excited. Yeah, my flight was fine, uneventful, which is my favorite kind. Yes, I want to have lunch with you tomorrow. That's why I'm here. But hold on, let me get a pen. Well, yeah, from what I saw from the back of my taxi ride from hell, it looked amazing. I guess all those New York taxi stories are true, huh? All right, all right, go ahead. Your table is over there. Hey. <laughs> hey, you're always oh. early. Why is that? It makes it look like everyone else is late. <laughs> One upmanship. You know me. Hey, you look great. I'm so glad that we could be here for this. What are you talking about? Are you kidding? Even if the timing wasn't perfect, I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. So how's Detroit? Oh, you know, Detroitish. <sighs> So, this is Evie as a bride to be. Yeah. yeah. You have to blush a little for me. Hey, when are you leaving? Uh, day after the wedding. Oh, Africa. Right. But Amsterdam first, then Africa. Oh, it's exciting. Are you excited? Yeah, are you kidding? I haven't slept in days. So, tell me more. I've been accepted into the program or the mission, as they call it, but um, I have to have an interview with this, the head guy in Amsterdam. Oh, they won't dare turn you down. Well, you never know. I, mean, I see flying colors. Yeah, well. If I get in, it's, it's three weeks orientation there, and then on to the dark continent. Where they need noble young doctors of high purpose. Yeah. And low income. <laughs> that part, right. Hey, I guess your wedding. Hey, so when do I meet this lucky character who gets to be your husband? Tonight. Have it all arranged. Excellent. Hey, you know what I'd love to do? Can we stop by Carnegie Hall? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, we can go through the park. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. I can't believe I'm finally gonna get to see Carnegie Hall. Uh -huh. Remember how we used to dream about what it'd be like to play there? Oh, wait till you see the rehearsal halls. Hey, you're not gonna go and give up your career, are you? I'm gonna play wife for a while and see how it goes. I decided two careers isn't the best way to start a marriage. What, because he's famous? No, not because he's famous, not because Roger's you can't famous. quit, you're so talented. How am I gonna live vicariously through you? Are you still playing? Yes. As a matter of fact, I have a practice keyboard I'm taking with me. Just promise me you really love this guy. I promise. Can I take your picture? Yeah. <laughs> what? Capture the bridal blush. <laughs> you know what I've been thinking about lately? What? How come we never fell in love? She's three days before her wedding. I know, these kinds of thoughts tend to come to a girl on the eve of her wedding. Why this one you adore and not this what one that you, you adore. We're too good at being pals. You're like my yeah. sister. Yeah. What? You just tell me how to get the car to be home. And don't say practice or I'll have to kill you. <laughs>